Welcome to the EZU course on Renewal Reports. In this course, I will show you how to create a report that will show the policies expiring in a given month so you can start the renewal process to get your customers the best quote before renewing. Additionally, this report can be used to view renewals but may need to be reshopped. So let's get started. To get to the reports, first, hover over the reporting icon, then click on All Reports under Standard Reports. If you do not see the reports icon, please reach out to your agency admin. We will be looking for the book of business reports. So, scroll down, then click on the policy expiration report. Please note that if you do not have access to the book of business reports, you must reach out to your agency admin. The policy expiration report will show a list of policies that are set to expire within a date range and show the premium change for the policy that have a renewal entered into the system. Now, there are many filters to choose from that you can change. First, let's set the current policy status to active. By default, Hide Pending Renewal is set to No, which means any policy that has a pending renewal transaction will show up on the report. If you do not want to include pending renewals in the report, set to Yes. You can also change any other filters to meet your needs. Then select the date range you are looking for using the calendar to select the date. After that, we want to add a few columns to the report using the Manage Columns drop-down to give us more information. So click on the drop-down arrow for Manage Columns. Here we will add percent change and any others that will benefit your needs. The other columns you see here are added by default. Now click on View Report to generate the report. Once generated, you can use this report to see policies that are about to expire in the given date range and shop for the renewal. If you have the pending renewal as showing, you can also see the percent change for the original policy premium to the upcoming renewal premium if it is entered into the system. This can help you determine how much of a change your customer will see and if reshopping for this customer or the other would be more beneficial. You can also click on any blue link like the applicant ID or policy number to go to the applicant page or the policy. Additionally, once the report is generated, you can navigate through the pages by clicking the arrows at the top left. You can download the report as an Excel, PDF, or CSV file using the Export drop-down menu. You can print the report by clicking the Print icon and save the report to view later by using the Save or Floppy Disk icon. That is all for this EZU course on Renewal Reports. You should now have the knowledge and skill needed to create a report for expiring policies so you can shop for upcoming renewals.